my first layer squish tool. Uh, it is a little handy device that has allowed me to refine my printing very, very significantly. And um, I'm super happy with this and how it works. And I hope you can benefit from it as well. Here's the thing, I was printing pretty happily and um, but over time I had developed the habit of chamfering the bottom of my designs to compensate for the, the flare out from the first layer squish and had rationalized to myself that that was good because it was giving me lots of bed adhesion. I was pressing down hard on it. But in fact, my print quality was diminishing because of that and particularly with PETG, it didn't, didn't, doesn't seem to, it likes to string and if you've got it too compressed, things just manifest. And so what happened is I was trying to figure out how to get better at setting my Z offset really is what happened. I'm I using the filler, I'm using the filler, feeler gauge between the nozzle and the bed, feeling that got to the point where I felt like I could remember what, how much friction I wanted so that I was doing it consistently every time. So that part was good, but I didn't realize what I thought was a good distance wasn't. So when I was trying to set a 0.2 millimeter gap for the first layer from my, for basically setting my nozzle to zero on the bed, but so that I could achieve a 0.2 millimeter or whatever layer head I wanted, I was actually much less than that. And so I was squishing the material too much, getting flare out, I was compensating for the flare out with the, with the chamfer on the design. So that wasn't really a problem. But what the real problem is, is that when I printed a 0.2 millimeter layer height, I wasn't actually producing a 0.2 millimeter uh, thickness in the first layer because I was compressing. And if you're compressing too much, that's rippling through the next probably five layers. Um, and it's, it, it, it's so invisible, it's easy to miss it. So I encourage you to just print this once and see what your flare out is. Because when I, all of the printers that I was running, when I printed the first time, they were up around, my squish was up around 0.4 millimeter slot being closed, which means I had a 0.2 millimeter flare out on each side. I was using a 0.4 millimeter chamfer, so it's almost invisible to see in the finished print but it's there and it's making your print quality, um, it's, it's negatively affecting your print quality. So what happened is by printing this, and let's say in this example, I had a 0.4 millimeter gap open, which means I was closed on the 0.2 millimeter, uh, 0.3 millimeter. That effectively means I had about 0.15 millimeters of flare because the 1.5 plus 1.5 closed up the 0.3 millimeter gap. And I shifted that over to 0.2 millimeter uh, hole being open, the 0.1 being closed, and I thought that was fantastic. I did that by raising my Z offset by 0 0.02 millimeters. Uh, and I was printing like that thinking, wow, I've come a long way. And then I got to the point where I realized, hey, I can go even, I can get this even tighter. So I took the 0.2 millimeter and I moved it over to a 0.1. Again, this is actually on a different machine. So the numbers are a little different. But again, it was um, interestingly enough, a 0 0.02 millimeter um, increase in the Z offset. And now with this setting where I'm at right here, I've got a 0 0.01 point one millimeter slot open and effectively I am therefore have a zero squish there's no flare out at all and I'm perfectly and the the way you can kind of rationalize this is that if you put a caliper on this tab which is 0.2 millimeter thick I'm getting a perfectly uh, 0.2 millimeter layer height and so now I'm printing perfectly uh, um, adjusted to the layer to the to the bed and can print much cleaner, uh, especially in PETG. I had accepted that PETG was just never going to be as clean as uh, PLA or uh, ABS, but it really that wasn't the case. I just needed to get my settings right, and once I got the settings right, my PETG is fantastic. It's printing so well, and um, so print this see where you're at. If you're down here already, then you're golden and you didn't have the issues that I have. 
But if you're up here somewhere, it means you're pushing too hard down onto the bed with your, you're squishing too much. You're too close to the bed. Shift it here and then print again and see what your print quality looks like. And your bed adhesion is probably going to be better. And I'm at the stage now where I don't have to chamfer the bottom of my, my designs. Uh, I still do because I like having that smoother corner edges uh, in most cases. But if you need a sharp finish on the bottom, now you can get it without having the flare out because I've got this perfectly adjusted. So I hope that's helpful and, um, you know, give it a try. It's about a 15 minute print, so it doesn't take long to just print one. Make your notes on it, write, you know, the date and time and you know, what, what your, your Z offset was when you started and then print it again and do it again. I even note how much I adjust. No, I didn't on this one, but I, I've gotten in a habit now printing even how much I'm adjusting to the next card. So when you pick up the next card, you can remember what you did and why you did it. And the only other thing is that uh, somebody asked me about these. Um, consider these tabs just kind of bonus information. I think it's kind of interesting, as I said a minute ago, um, to when you, when you print your perfect um, squish, get, adjust so you got your squishes right, you're printing the way you want it, then measure the tab that is the thickness of your layer height. So in my case, I'm printing at a 0.2 layer height. Uh, look at the 0.2 millimeter tab, measure it with your calipers and it should be bang on. When you're printing with too much squish, you're gonna get a thinner mount there and you're gonna watch, you can see how your printer's behaving uh, as, it, as it increases. And I think I said earlier, um, if you're printing with a lot of squish, that's rippling through many layers. I'm guessing four, five, six layers. And so when you look at the lower side of your print, the quality will change significantly once you fine tune this. So, so fine tune it and give it a try. And uh, let me know if you have any um, better ideas for setting your squish and getting it right. But uh, this has really been a game changer for me and I'm super happy with it. Hope it's helpful.